I would explain it as a project that's looking at uh, community-based primary health care in First Nation communities and helping them to look at areas as well where they might need some support in making improvements in health care. I come from um, part of the past, like the, the foundation, I would say, that created sort of like the different regional entities. It was sort of entities going across the country, but a, a grassroots uh, entity ended up becoming created and we created this regional health survey process. It's for First Nations now. In the past, it was never. But today, the, any research that we involved, particularly this one, I can say intimately, we were more so involved with it than any other research project that we we have been involved in the past. My name is Lillian Hull and I'm from Ebenfold First Nation. We have to do our own stuff at the community level. Consultants are very expensive and you know with limited resources so we need to reach out to our First Nations people and let them know that knowledge is power. They, they have that power within them. Um, research has become important, it's become beneficial because it's a, a process of self-determination. It's the same with data. Understanding that research is beneficial to, to their communities and that it's transformative. And I think that's what you're seeing here is communities understand that. They understand the importance of it and that it can be transformative for their communities and actually improve their health in a, in a very real way. I think the biggest difference in this is this is a true collaboration between First Nations and university academic researchers. This is not about researchers trying to impose their will or come in and leave. It's really an attempt to work together as true partners. Coming from the north where my community of Cross Lake, we have uh, 8,500 total population and 6,700 of our people live in my community. They don't have the uh, services that they should be privileged to. So we invited people who would be willing to take risks and willing to see how research can really help them for a change instead of holding them back and talking to outsiders. If our youth end up taking you know, OCAP training or self-determination, sovereignty training, I think this is where we'll be able to get more people involved in this area and actually pursue that as a education in the future or as a potential career down the road. You know, when I was listening to the project reports yesterday and today, what came across to me is the incredible confidence about the knowledge that they own, that, that they can utilize for the development of services that are specific to their community. It's just wonderful to see that kind of shared knowledge, confidence, ability to say this is what we need in our community. Well, that's what's unique about our project because it's a research project that really was driven by community. So we had them involved from the very beginning to define what was important for them, what research questions to ask, how to ask them, and, and to be able to determine how they themselves uh, define primary health care. And that's what this research project allowed the communities to do, was to have a voice and to be able to, to voice their concerns and voice as well their solutions on how these um, gaps in services could be addressed. The energy in the room is electric, and it was electric yesterday. I've never seen this before, not to that extent. To be able to contribute a little bit, I'm there to support the process and give my tool, my skills, to those objectives. And so to me, that, that's exactly how it should be. First step in terms of understanding of something is you have, you need to, and data doesn't just mean numbers, it means uh, information that you then interpret and understand and then you can develop knowledge from that, which leads to power and, and, and can really lead to change for the better. Well, knowledge is power because it's the people's voices that are going through those experiences themselves that are presenting into the data. That is power in itself to know where everyone is coming from. We have a lot of work to do 
but uh, I am hopeful uh, as, a, as a leader that we, we create the leaderships that are going to come and to be able to appreciate our young people that are going into uh, to get educated, to be able to come back to our communities to, to work for their people.